I was lucky. I found what I loved to do early in life. Waz and I started Apple in my parents' garage when I was 20. We worked hard, and in 10 years, Apple had grown from just the two of us in a garage into a $2 billion company with over 4,000 employees. We just released our finest creation, the Macintosh, a year earlier, and I just turned 30. And then I got fired. How can you get fired from a company you started? And so at 30, I was out, and very publicly out. I really didn't know what to do for a few months. I felt that I had let the previous generation of entrepreneurs down, that I had dropped the baton as it was being passed to me. But something slowly began to dawn on me. I still loved what I did. And so I decided to start over. It freed me to enter one of the most creative periods of my life. During the next five years, I started a company named Next, another company named Pixar, and fell in love with an amazing woman who would become my wife. Apple bought Next, and I returned to Apple, and the technology we developed at Next is at the heart of Apple's current renaissance. They sort of made a comeback with Pixar, it seems like. I'm convinced that the only thing that kept me going was that I loved what I did. You've got to find what you love. Your work is gonna fill a large part of your life, and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. I admire the guy so much. Like, I care so much about him as a human being. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. And one of the things that made Apple great was that in the early days, it was built from the heart.